Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I am a BSN RN and on this channel I talk a lot about nursing, beauty and hygiene and if this is something that you would like to look forward to please do not forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe as well as hitting the notification bell so that once I post the video you will be the first person to know. In this video I'm going to be telling you all reasons why I love being a step down PCU or IMU nurse. The very first reason why I love my unit, the very first reason why I love being a step down unit nurse is because of the kind of patients that we have from stroke patients to patients with digestive issues, GI bleeding, gas reflux, dialysis issues, endocrine problems, liver issues, patients who come with blood pressures, cardiac patients who come with, you know, multiple drips, some are on dopamine, some are on amiodarone drip. Um, I also love the fact that we have patients who are having infection, they are on mortal um, antibiotics drips. We also have patients who come with endocrine issues in terms of um, diabetes, dementia, alcohol withdrawal is really big electrolyte imbalance fevers are failing kind of patients who need close monitoring so be very mindful that these are patients who can go to the icu at any given moment these are patients who are coming from the icu and can go back to the icu some of the patients are patients who are coming directly from the ed some of the patients believe it or not are coming from med search unit due to maybe some um, acute or sudden change in who knows maybe their mental state or in their vital signs or something just suddenly showed up especially like in their respiration maybe they suddenly needed to step up from maybe a two liters to something more cumbersome than just a nasal cannula so those are the kind of patients we typically take care of on our unit sometimes some patients will stay longer on the unit just because they're kind of cleared off they can still move down to med search but they want a situation wherein they are cleared off to move to maybe a nursing home or to habilitation center before they leave our unit but yes for most cases there will be patients who are like just this close to being icu patients or patients that are just you know getting ready to be discharged from the unit the next thing i really love about my step down unit is depending on the hospital most hospitals will give um, step down units for patients but again i know that some hospitals are you know standard that step down is five patients but again i know when it comes to nurse shortages sometimes uh, it pushes to six patients to one nurse but when you are working in that hospital that is actually four patients for one nurse it is very convenient because you have just four patients to focus on it gives you ample time to attend to one patient move on to the next move on to the next it gives you time to go document for all four patients as opposed to maybe five or six patients i feel like this also gives you time because the patient's family you know the different providers who are going to different providers and the specialists who are going to be rounding ptot you know procedures that will be happening back and forth you just have a smaller number of patients to take care of as opposed to like maybe five six patients that can be sort of overwhelming i know a very big thing that most nursing students will wonder is how do you keep the information of all these nurses in your head i would like to say that some of these things come with experience some of these things will come with time as you progress in your nursing career you would find yourself compartmentalizing your brain to say hey this is information that pertains to this patient this is information that pertains to this patient and you know as time goes on it will flow easily you won't kind of mix it up but because we have shortcomings as humans i always you know write things down so that i'm very certain that hey this is the patient maybe for example the lab called for a potassium of you know 3.0 who needed you know a potassium replacement so as time progresses you're going to learn how to compartmentalize your brain in order to keep information for just four patients as opposed to maybe five and six so that is one thing i love another thing is this when the doctors are coming and they're rounding you kind of have time with them to you know ask your questions to ask what 
you the nurse should be expecting when it comes to the treatment or the care of that patient as opposed to like more patients that you will be having so i feel like having those four patients is golden i feel like it gives you time to connect with the patient it gives you time to connect with the family it gives you time to kind of understand and to know the patient holistically I am one of that nurse who likes to know everything about my patient, like from past procedures, their history, like why exactly are they here? I just like to know everything about the patient. And so when there's too many patients on your hand, you kind of, I, I just feel like I don't know the patient as in depth as I want to, as I should. I am so big on knowing everything about my patient, like from labs to clinical notes, to procedures that have been done. Sometimes if I don't understand what procedure has been done, there's no shame in saying this. I am big on Googling it. And if for some reason I do not understand when the doctors come or maybe another senior colleague who is more experienced, I always ask these questions because I feel that in order to be able to take care of a patient, you need to know where they are coming from. You need to know the kind of medical challenges they've had in the past and so with four patients it makes it easier for you to you know grasp this information and work with as less information for the lesser number of patients that you have the very next thing on my list why i love the step down unit is the variety of tasks and things that you have to do there are so many things that we learned in nursing school which i can tell you that on other units it feels like you are not actually doing those things on the floor and then the question comes up like okay then why did i even learn this thing in the first place that is not to say that um, i'm not speaking specifically to you know specialized units like ob peds you know those ones have specialized things that you should know but i feel like when you are working on the med search unit just because um the patient acuity there is kind of less there are certain things that i as a step down unit would be doing on my step down unit that a med search unit um nurse will not be doing Take for example, um, I know that some hospitals, they don't allow med search units to administer um, drips that need to be titrated. I'm talking of, you know, amiodarone drips, some med search nurses do not do insulin drips, but those are things that are very common for us as step down unit nurses. Also, there are some other things like breeding equipment that we are very comfortable you know using it on our patients as opposed to excess unit nurses who because they're not exposed to that sort of acuity of um, patients they might lose it or they might not even know how to do it so the exposure to this number of things that i can do compared to a med search nurse it makes me feel like i'm putting to practice everything that I learned in nursing, even though in the ICU it might be more, but at least I feel like I'm putting to use more of my skills and tasks to use. The very next advantage of being a step down unit nurse is critical thinking. I can tell you again, as I've said in my previous videos, that these are patients that at any given time, they can just swing into becoming um, an ICU patient. Take for example, sometime I had um, an alcohol withdrawal patient. Patient came directly from the ED and from the time of admission of this patient on the unit till when things changed, it was just two hours. I kid you not, two hours and that patient was getting into respiratory failure. A patient had to be intubated um, before me and the patient had to be taken into the ICU. So I will tell you that this is a unit where your critical thinking has to be on its A game. Let's dive again to these patients that came with alcohol withdrawal. So what actually was happening? Just to throw in some more light where you should know that your critical thinking is going to so much come into play. So patient came in, time during my shift I had to admit this patient. Um, visiting hours ends at 9 p.m. I'm talking of when I was working night shift. And all of a sudden, Normally the patient was on CWA protocol, so I had administered the patient's Adivan and for some reason the Adivan wasn't helping, so the patient started becoming very anxious. The patient was becoming jittery, the patient was fighting to get out of bed, the patient felt like they needed to get out of bed to do something and then they 
originally from the beginning of my shifts they were on like two liters of oxygen so the patient's o2 was tanking and as i kept increasing it it wasn't helping i kept changing the pulse oximetry um, equipment on their finger but it still wasn't helping so i had to call the respiratory therapist to come in you know and see if maybe we could switch them to bipap but for some reason this patient was very anxious that there was nothing we could do even with giving them sedative and you know we saw how their o2 numbers were tanking so we called the doctor the doctor came into the room the respiratory therapist came into the room so we had to um you know call a code and then patient ended up being intubated and moved to the ICU. I explained this to say that if I didn't know that, hey, um, the patient is being anxious, the patient's oxygen is going to be dropping because they are fighting to talk, they're fighting to do everything. So their oxygen demand in the body is actually increasing as opposed to what they're um, you know, breathing in. That was a point in time when I had to know that, hey, I had to increase the oxygen and even though i was increasing it i needed to know that hey he needed more oxygen this is out of my scope i need to call the respiratory therapist respiratory therapist comes there there is nothing we could actually do with everything that we had tried so it was up to me to know that hey i needed to call the doctor and when the doctor came they were like okay there's nothing we can do let's just call a call you know patient ended up um, being intubated and taken to the ICU. So this is a unit that you have to be using your critical thinking like you have to keep thinking of things like even in the cases where patients electrolytes are dropping you have to know like okay maybe the patient's electrolytes are dropping because they are actively having a diarrhea or you also have to know that hey if a patient is constipated and they are taking you know medication to help them um, go number two hey you have to watch out for the electrolyte so this is a flaw or a unit that you will have to use your critical thinking very much so often next thing i want to talk on is the pace of work on this unit i'm going to say because this patient's acuities are kind of high you have to know that things can change at any time so you need to work proactively as opposed to expecting or waiting for things to happen before you do things say for example um if you have a patient whose blood sugar drops very fast it will be nice for you to kind of like always make sure that there is an extra maybe orange juice or something for them to just you know um throw in their mouth when their blood sugar drops or if for some reason you know that a patient um let's say a patient has a trick collar that needs constant um suctioning just make sure that everything you need to suction that patient's trick collar is just ready and good to go if for any reason your patient has a foley just make sure that you have something to empty the foley and throw same for any other thing make sure that you are proactive because anything can change at any time and i for one i do not like when i'm lagging behind i like to always make sure everything is ready and good to go so the pace of work might be slow at the beginning but make sure that you have the mindset that things can change at any time and so be ready for when things change the very next thing i love about being a step down unit is that due to the acuity of the patient i feel like i learn a lot there's like so many things i have learned from patients with encephalopathy with patients you know who are on dialysis you know dialysis is something that is most of the times done um, on the dialysis unit by dialysis nurses, but I cannot tell you how many times I've had patients who needed immediate um, dialysis because of a situation wherein maybe the patient became hyperkalemic in the sense of high potassium. I remember vividly I had a patient whose um, potassium was a 10 plus, I kid you not. And when I called the doctor, the doctor said, call dialysis, start. And that patient had to be dialyzed in the room like there was no time to start rushing the patient down well long story cut short um, when dialysis came and they were setting up everything in the room patient ended up coding and you know patient was moved to the icu so this is a unit that i have learned a lot from gi bleeding to electrolyte imbalances cardiac issues you know and how to care for this patient things to teach the patients things to make sure the patients are aware things to make sure that um, patients are aware to avoid 
and you know like so many things like the different specialists that come to the floor you know patients with different kinds of headaches and the kind of medications blood pressures and blood pressures not answering to certain medications you have that opportunity to ask the, the care providers who come around who round you ask them okay why is it why is it that this is actually challenging when we are doing everything most of these care providers are going to be very nice to explain things to you but i feel like on the med search unit when these patients come with like regular things that maybe kind of look off that the patients the patients are just there for monitoring they are not challenged with like sudden changes and with things to be asking themselves like okay what should i be looking out for why is this not helping how else can we help the patient um the step down unit you are i feel like you're constantly thinking you're constantly thinking like okay what next okay what else could i have done okay what else could i not have done i feel like i'm very active when i'm on my unit everything is very much so in you so that is one thing i love about the critical thinking aspect of my unit Next thing I want to say about being a step down unit is the ability to be able to float to more units as opposed to maybe like an ED nurse or maybe like a med search nurse. If for example, I am a step down nurse, I have floated to being a resource person for the ICU unit. Resource in the fact that maybe I'm just helping them, you know, maybe clean patients, um, you know, maybe sit for a patient, like being a sitter for the patient, maybe help them give not necessarily give a medication but like help them to to administer medications with the help of the icu nurse for example i remember vividly when i had to help a nurse do tube feeding so i was resourceful for her because i had to position the patient in such a way that it was comfortable for them to you know do the tube feeding so then i came handy for that icu nurse so i'm most of the time floated to the med search like post-surgical unit the ed i feel like the step, being a step down nurse you are very useful for all floors maybe except some specialty floors like maybe the PACU, OR with their own kind of rules and regulations that are kind of specific to that unit but when it comes to a step down unit you can actually float to many other units at a time but it is very limited when it comes to med search units med search nurses most of the times can only work on their unit or sometimes be floated to maybe a psych floor or to the ed where they'll take care of like just med search um kind of patients so for a step down unit i'm very versatile as to where i can be sent to go give a helping hand and that is something that i really love that is something that i very much appreciate because most of the times when we are floated to especially in some hospitals most of the times when you're floated to like a med search unit they kind of look up to you and it's sometimes those nurses will come to you and be like oh what do you think in this situation they kind of like are you know piggy banking on your on your critical thinking you know strength and you feel like you're teaching them you're educating them sometimes also when let's say like a rapid response or a code blue happens you know typically med search nurses um in some hospitals are not acls certified so um, when they know that they have a step down unit who is floating to their unit on the med search unit they would love to use you when it comes to like compression and everything that happens um, during a code blue for a patient in the patient's room. So it feels nice to, to, to know that you can be a helping hand in so many units. It feels nice to know that people will come to you and appreciate the wealth of knowledge that you have, you know, gathered from your own unit. It feels nice to know that um, most of the times I can do things on my own without necessarily asking for help or asking for questions. I mean, it just feels good to know that um i am also a go-to person as opposed to me being a go-to to some other person so that is one is a plus aspect of being a step down nurse for me thank you so much for staying right up to the end of this video i do hope that you loved every information i've shared about why i love being a step down unique nurse and i'm hoping that maybe one day you will change your mind to joining the team the winning team the step down unit and if this was a video that you very much love, please do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And from me to you, I will see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.